With rising temperatures, erosion, sea level rising and storm surges, our planet is changing more than ever and has been threatened as the sixth extinction, an extinction of everything we know and live for. Isle of Wight is a small island off the coast of Southampton and has been suffering with coastal erosion and flooding for centuries. However, the pace is increasing as sea levels rise and residents are worried that they will lose houses, roads and beaches in the upcoming years. Tina is from Freshwater Bay and was born in the Isle of Wight. In her time there, she has seen changes to the island from the coastal erosion, the cliffs at Compton Bay and Tennyson Downs in particular. She fondly remembers Compton Bay from her childhood and now how it is changing so much, but you do not necessarily see it. You just notice a bit of the cliff gone here and there. Tina remembers a shop that was once at the end of Compton Bay that has now completely disappeared, as well as the car park. She also remembers Black Gang Chine and how different it is to when she went as a child. A lot of it has gone and rearranged and it is hard to recognise it from when she was younger. Even when she was walking out in the island, you can notice these changes and small things that are different each time. Erosion takes many, many years, but it is the small changes which are happening which will add up to big problems. Haysborough is a village with a population of 1400 in North Norfolk. Despite now being a coastal village, it used to be some distance from the sea. Nicola is a resident of Haysborough. Although she knows that she cannot stay in her house forever, she plans to stay as long as possible. Unfortunately, they never know how long it is going to be. Despite the impending fear of losing their home, Nicola talks of how lovely it is to live in Haysborough. It has a family feel to it and everyone looks after each other. The tide has not come in as fast as it is currently coming in years and Nicola thinks climate change is a huge factor in this. You can feel the power of the sea from Nicola's house. It is like a tremor. The Holderness Coast is east of Hull and stretches from Spurn Point to Flamborough Head. There are places like Bridlington and Withernsea that have sea defences in place, but unfortunately for the people living in smaller villages like Tunstall and Skipsea, there is no money in place to protect them. I spoke with a gentleman called Keith. Keith's house perches right on the edge of the cliff and is due to be lost in 20 to 30 years. Although this may seem like a long time, it is still somebody's home that is going to be lost. Keith has written all over to try to get protection in these small villages, but unfortunately the council will not do anything. Keith often questions the price of a land and a home. There is not a price on memories, but apparently it is not worthy of being protected. Now we must wait for the sea to eventually take over. Nothing was born, nothing will die, all things will change.